We all know how important ozone is. It's actually one of the therapies that we offer for a lot of our patients that are dealing with uh, chronic illnesses, you know, dealing with uh, you know, chronic fatigue syndromes, dealing with Lyme, uh, dealing with any kind of viral conditions uh, or cancer. You know? So ozone has a way to oxidize pathogens, oxidize uh, fungus, parasites, viruses so anything that's floating around in the blood it, it oxidizes or cancer that's floating around it can oxidize that and in essence what it, it it kills it then so isn't it cool then if we're able to oxidize if we're able to then purify your blood at a higher level and so this machine that we brought in you know, it's called rhp or another names uh, name for that you see it outside is eboo which just means you know, that you ozonate and oxygenate your, your blood. So you will then, blood will then come out. So it's actually two pokes that you do. So you'll have, uh, you, you enter into the vein one arm and then, uh, and then you pull blood, blood moves from one vein into this machine right here that will then ozonate the blood, oxygenate and ozonate the blood. And then the pathogens and all the chemicals and everything, they uh, they get oxidized and they start to collect in this little uh, cholesterol right actually let me find it right here for you start to collect in this little thing so this this one starts to get filled up with all these kind of oxidized pathogens and and cancer cells and toxins and heavy metals and everything so it actually cure it purifies the blood so you have this toxic blood that's leave one arm gets oxidized then it enters into the other arm. And so it's, it's a really cool, uh, cool therapy. And there are other uh, therapies out there. We've used ozone IVs in the past, but what this one does, because it just kind of flows through the machine like that, you can, uh, you can ozonate such a higher level. You actually ozonate like four liters of your blood. So it's almost like your, your whole blood volume. And you compare that to the other, type of therapy that we offer and the people you know uh, out there in the community or you know th throughout that they offer you know one is called ubi which i love we use that again it, and it's a really great therapy but if you compare that there you ozonate 0.06 liters of your blood so 0.06 and here you're uh, here you're ozonating four liters of your blood so Compare 0.06 to 4 liters, so you can see, you know, what what an impact that this would have on your system. You know, getting all that fresh, clean blood into you, and so in addition to cleaning the blood, it also then the oxygen will help to turn on the mitochondria, turn on your energy production, and obviously all your cells require energy, and this one will will help to do that, to turn that on. Uh, a number of other things that it does, it controls what's called the redox balancing, you know, redox system. And that's the, the reduction, you know, the antioxidant system and also the oxidizing system. So oxidizing is, you know, what it does directly where it just kind of kills things. But then you have to have the, the antioxidant component, that is your cells that's protecting itself from chemicals and heavy metals and that's your kind of layer of protection and you need that as well you know because we are exposed to things and so we need these antioxidants and this one by doing this oxidative therapy it actually triggers your own system's ability to produce more antioxidants in your system and, and this lasts for many many more months after just doing one treatment so to kind of layer these treatments you know, it's going to have a tremendous impact because we all build on each other. And so <clears throat> what, what, and, and, and a lot of different diseases that we know, we have about 200 different diseases that are all related to that this redox system is not functioning well, you know, like rheumatoid arthritis, uh, cardiovascular disease, any kind of autoimmune conditions, you know, cancer, we, we spoke about that. So all of these things, you know, relate to this, this redox system not functioning appropriately. So what do you need, you know, what, who would this benefit and who, you know, what, what kind of, what should you expect? Well, you, you will then come in, you know, to our center, you know, first there are certain labs that we would need to have drawn and there are certain things that we look at, you know, we look at, 
you know, are you clotting too easily? So like D-dimer, and we also want to make sure that you have the hemoglobin and the ferritin to be able to carry the oxygen. So we want to make sure that you're doing okay there. And also want to look, make sure that your platelets are doing okay. Uh, also something else that we look at is G6PD. So there's certain labs that we, we need to have drawn in order to make sure that you're a candidate for this. And then also we want to make sure that you you know, that the nurses, they will kind of assess your veins because you, you do need to have a good outflow of, of blood from one arm so, and so that we can bring it into the other. You know, if it's, it flows too slowly, you know, then, then it's a risk for, uh, then it may start clotting and then we have to kind of filter that out over here and, and it just doesn't move, you know, very nicely. So we need to assess those veins and the nurses will do that ahead of time. Then when you come in here, uh, we need to make sure that you, you, you're plenty hydrated because that is the key. Don't drink a bunch of alcohol or coffee the day before because all of that will dehydrate you and that will make this process harder because we need that good flow. So drink lots of fluid and then also come in here uh, making sure that you, you have eaten something because we don't want your blood sugar to be low because you know, anytime you, you have somebody coming with your needle with a needle, which this will be, you know, you, 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 you know, obviously you need to start the IV, so there'll be a poke. And, uh, but if your blood sugar is low, then you know, sometimes you can then feel a bit of woozy, so it's better to, to have eaten something. You know, don't have a completely full stomach, because then all your blood is in, in your stomach. We want to have some that we can treat as well. Uh, so these are, are things, kind of the prerequisites that we want to make sure that you take care of. You know, before coming in, you know, doing the therapy. And then when you get here, what will happen is that we will then run a saline bag, you know, just fluid, so that way we can hydrate you a little bit more, and that way we can make sure that there will be a better flow. So all these things are for, for to create that better flow. Uh, and then after we do that, then we, we start the process, and there may be during the time while you're sitting there that the the nurse will have to readjust the needle a little bit to make sure that it that it flows appropriately so they will continually monitor and make sure that the flow is there and, and then also we will have you hooked up to uh, a machine to make sure that you know your, your, your heart everything is doing good your blood pressure is not going down you know so it's actually continual EKG not that there is a danger but it's just that kind of extra safety precaution uh, that we do just to make sure everything's doing okay so uh, so these are the kind of precautions uh, what can you expect after well most people you just feel uh, normal I mean feel more energy feel more you know less inflamed uh, I, I really haven't seen anyone with any kind of downtime you can in essence just to become yourself and leave yourself you know so uh, you can go on with your normal daily things after so you don't need to be concerned about that in any way uh, frequency how often should I do it well it depends on what you're dealing with you know if you're dealing with something severe then initially I would suggest maybe do one every week for four weeks and then do it every you know once a month and then maybe spread it out to like once every three months you know just to uh, kind of continue to uh, have that support. One thing that I forgot to mention that, it, that is amazing what it does, it actually triggers the production of new healthy, you know, what they call gifted red blood cells from your bone marrow. So it actually supports a healthy production of, of strong, robust uh, red blood cells that and obviously we need red blood cells in order to be able to transport oxygen efficiently to all the cells. And, and if they are healthy and uh, can attach oxygen well, you know, uh, then that will have that mitochondrial effect and tissue repair and so forth. So, so this is, is in addition to then fighting disease, this is like the thing to do if you're wanting to do anti-aging as well. Uh, because it also helped to clear out something that's called senescent cells. And senescent cells are cells that are kind of floating around in the, in the blood uh, and they secrete all these inflammatory uh, chemicals. And we need to clear those out uh, so that we can reduce inflammation in the body. And obviously reducing inflammation will also reduce aging. You know, we have a term called inflammaging. You know, with the inflammation, that chronic level of inflammation, 
is, is triggering a rapid uh, aging. So by clearing these senescent cells out that cause inflammation, you know, which this is amazing at doing, uh, you will then also have this tremendous anti-aging effect. So uh, yeah, come on into the Carl Full Center, schedule, schedule an appointment, make sure that you, you're a candidate for this, which I, I, you know, most people are a candidate and just enjoy the benefits.